I've been wandering all day Try to be fine, but I can't be You know you're my mind when I need me Hey guys, what's up? It's Kirstie Renee here Back at it again with another video for you guys So as you can tell by the title I have a perfume that I wanted to review for you guys today and it is my girl, Burberry Her Elixir. Y'all already know, if you're OG and you're not new to the channel, then you know I love me some Burberry Her. That is like one of my signature scents. It just smells so good, so fruity and so girly. So here she is. It comes in this pretty blush pink bottle. So here is the packaging for the original. You have a clear bottle, which is easy to see the product inside versus this one. You can't see the product. You can't see how much you've already used. It's not see-through at all, not even if you hold it up to a light. You just kind of have to chance it and I guess shake it just to see you know how much damage you're doing to the bottle versus this one I like this packaging a little bit more and they both have the gold trim this one just has a blush pink top gold trim with a see-through bottle which I felt as though they should have stuck to that or at least did like a gradient effect to where as though it's clear up top and then goes down into like this blush pink. I think that that bottle would have been a little bit better than this. But enough about the bottle, okay? The bottle is, you know, the elephant in the room, but it's not the reason why we're here. I've had this scent for about two weeks now. I've been wearing it constantly, but I'm gonna, I've been taking notes as well. So when I first got this perfume, y'all, it was everything it was everything I was on my way to the beach and I did do an initial review on this video and it was supposed to go in a vlog but I don't think I'm gonna post that vlog again so um, that's why I'm doing this video but anyways this scent right here is so potent if you guys know this scent right here this scent is more subtle it doesn't really last all day you can kind of smell it on your clothes by the time you go take them off at night, but it's nothing strong enough to where as though people walking by you can smell it. This is a scent that you do have to reapply, but I feel as though with this one, you kind of don't have to reapply because by the time you take your clothes off at night, it smells like you just sprayed this one. So yeah, so imagine how this smells when you first spray it. I feel as though this scent right here is just a very strong and potent scent. Um, versus this one this one lasts way longer you get more of the notes you can really smell all the notes versus this one this one is about the strength of like you can spray this on your kindergartner your first grader your kids in elementary school you can spray this on them it's very sweet they smell identical this one is just way more intense this one you can smell a lot of the berries in this one it smells very good i smell a lot of strawberries what this smells like to me and this is my opinion it smells just like a strawberry cheesecake or anything but like strawberries and whipped cream while as this one is more subtle it's sweet but it's not raw in your face if you want that raw in your face effect you can get this one do i feel as though you should have both of these scents not really honestly no um let me see if I can explain it. I feel as though if you don't like overpowering perfumes, then you but you like this smell, then you want this one. But if you like your perfumes to exude the room and to project more, I feel as though this bottle is going to last you longer. They're the same size, but this one is going to last you longer than this one because you don't have to spray as much with this one. That's why I went through this bottle so fast. As you guys can see, this is all I have left inside of this bottle. But this one, I can hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, and I'm good. But versus this one, I feel like I have to shh you know all over the place just to get it to project as much as i would like it to so i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the fragrance notes of the elixir the burberry car elixir retails for 88 dollars for this size bottle and if you want the 3.4 fluid ounce that one is going to be 148 dollars definitely a gourmand fragrance already off the rip you can smell this for yourself and you will already know what um scent type that this goes into no florals no nothing else no woodies nothing it smells straight gourmand okay and the scent type is fruity gourmand definitely the key notes are top is strawberry blackberry accord middle jasmine accord base vanilla amber and sandalwood 
y'all already know how i feel about sandalwood sandalwood in a scent give it to me if you ever want to buy me a gift and you want and you like oh my gosh i know she loves perfume but i don't know what perfume to get her baby if it got sandalwood in it go ahead and slide it this way because nine times out of ten i want it the vanilla in this one just smells so good it smells so exotic it does not smell cheap at all whatsoever it's a very gorgeous scent and is very well blended so to sum it all up this one is for the younger crowds i would say like my teenagers kids in middle school that is going to be the original burberry when you start to get into like your 20s like your late 20s and up then you want to go ahead and get the burberry elixir but if you like potent strong sweet gourmand scents then you definitely want to get this one i don't feel like you need both of them but if you're like me i would i low-key want both of them you know just because it's just something to have but they literally smell just alike you can smell a difference this one has a little bit more musk to it versus this one is just sweet and it packs a punch in it. I sprayed this in the car literally on my wrist and my boyfriend allergies went ballistics. The whole car smelled like this off of just one pump of this. So yeah, girl, get your hands on this perfume. I highly recommend it. It's a very gorgeous scent worth every penny of it. I will definitely be investing in another bigger bottle of this. Um, do I ever see myself buying the original Burberry hair ever again? Probably not. Now that I know that this one is just this amplified times 2000, okay? So I hope you guys got the information that you needed out of this video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and what turn on post notifications so that you guys can know when I post. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.